Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video, episode 170. We have got rewards, we're about to get into a battle, and we've got road to glory. <sighs> oh god. I've done, I've tried my best, but it. I worked today so, oh, such a long shift, there was just no way I could have got it done. So, this is where we're at. <laughs> just joking, that might have been a weird reaction, but just joking. No, I managed to do it. I managed to grind. Um, I'm going to be honest, I had to grind a little bit at work while I was on pause. For like, I had about half an hour spamming as much as I could. Um, oh, it, was, it was a rush, but I got it done. Got home, spam. Bammed, like, I was about, like, 60 points on Samoa Joe. I was like, fuck, come on. Um, but it was good, yeah. We managed it in the end. So we're going to play the last two games on Samoa Joe. And then I'm going to show you guys my Battleground rewards. And the pro... Well, news on the proing of Triple H and Sasha Banks. Um, might not get them done in today's episode. But what we're going to do first is we're going to play one game, then I'm going to do my rewards, then we're going to play another game of RTG, so we don't do the pack right at the beginning, and we don't do it right at the end, so it's convenient for everyone. Um, so yeah, we do need to concentrate a little bit on these games. We're going to go with those two. They both proc in speed. Now that is a win for me. I'll take that. Come on, yep, yeah, power, brilliant. Oh, Clip Knight's gonna be close, but Jinder's got that. Jinder's actually my second best card, it's weird, he's like in between Matt and Jeff. Matt is my best event card, then it's Jinder, then it's Jeff. It's weird. Um, I'm not sure if that's for everyone, or it's just if the way people token them, but interesting. Power toughness, power toughness, um, power toughness. We'll go with Randy, oh, okay. I was going to go on the take of the toughness, but I was like, let me save them to take her. Yeah, let's go with them two with the speed. They're incompatible, but they both propped in speed. We actually lose that, I think. I think. Yeah, we did lose. Okay, 3-2, speed odds with the Undertaker, but we still win against Bray. That was a close one. Undertaker doesn't always get that win in speed. Round three. Oh, and before I forget, Money in the Bank um, has just... Kicked off, yeah, Money in the Bank kickoff has just started. Money in the Bank is in 55 minutes from when I'm recording this. You guys will probably be seeing this as soon as Money in the Bank is going up. Because I'm going to upload this, and then I'm going to enjoy some Money in the Bank. One of my favourite pay-per-views out of the calendar year. I'm really excited. It's kind of crept up on me, and I haven't really been like really hyped because I've been so overwhelmed from work, trying to get some videos up. Um, and it's just been a bit chaotic, and I was like, you know, oh my god, Money in the Bank's today! So I was, you know, that's awesome, but uh, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad I'm gonna get to enjoy it today without being like, oh, I can't wait for that, but it's like in two months, you know? Like, um, well, when you're like watching the Royal Rumble and you're looking forward to WrestleMania, even though Royal Rumble is my favourite pay-per-view. Anyway, if you guys haven't watched my predictions video, uh, definitely check that out, guys, if uh, if you want to see what I say, maybe after watching Money in the Bank or before, but after you guys can tell how well I've done. So that's always good to watch them after. So that's what I like doing. I even watch my own videos back because I'm like, how many of these predictions did I get right? Sometimes I do okay, but most of the time it's below average, I'm going to be honest. I don't know, you know, you always think something's predictable, but I always put that little swerve in, and, and sometimes they're like, that guy surely has to win, it makes complete sense, that's who you, you know, and then they'll just, nope, they'll completely swerve that. So, predictions, how am I feeling for Money in the Bank? Um, I'll, go, I'll, I'll give you guys a quick little recap. Um, what did we get there? Oh yeah, we're in Battleground, we're going to get some charges now, pretty cool. Um... Yeah, let's go with a little recap. Let's just focus on two Money in the Bank matches, so the women's and the men. Honestly, like, a lot of the women could win, and I know I said that in my predi in my predictions video, but it's true. A lot of these women could potentially win. They could literally be really sneaky and go with, like, Natalia, who you wouldn't be expecting. And then you could go with, like, a Becky Lynch, a Charlotte, um, a Carmella. I think those three are the more likely ones, and I think Natalia and Tamina probably won't win it. Um... I went for Becky Lynch, but when a lot of people were like, yeah, I think Carmella will win, James Ellsworth will help her, 
and it will be like a good little like, heel. And I can really see that happening, you know, but I can see them going a lot of ways with this. I could see Becky Lynch winning it, getting that really big baby face uh, payoff at the end. And I can see Charlotte winning it, you know, she's new kind of on SmackDown. And the, this whole kind of feud kind of really started with Charlotte with the welcoming committee and shit. Um, so it'd be like a good uh, a good end to all of this and really put Charlotte back into the title picture where she belongs. It's not that she's not really in it, but, you know, going to get those one-on-one -on -one matches with either Naomi or Lana coming out of Money in the Bank. So it's going to be interesting. Um, it is. It is going to be interesting. I, I'm, I'm probably going to, like... My two favourites to win it is probably, like, Becky Lynch and Carmella. Uh, I, I said Becky Lynch, and I'm going gonna gonna stay, to gonna stick with that. But I'm about 50-50, to be honest, between that and Carmella. But we'll have to see. Anyway, guys, sorry. I've just been rambling on, and you guys have been stuck on the same screen for so long. That must have been so irritating. I'm really sorry. Um, I've just, like, been <laughs> looking at that. Okay, so we're against the Dream Team. I don't know. That name seems familiar. Have we... Come up again. Oh, I've got a really good deck for ones, I think. WrestleMania, Ultimate, Ult Mate, are you it's all okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did get a good deck. I'm not I wouldn't be surprised if I was the top in the top three. Yeah, in the top three. Fatboy always gets a good deck, it's crazy. Um who got the worst? Flame. Oh my god, Flame got like oh, Flame, that's right. I mean two ultimates, two elites, it's not god awful, you know. And their team, 105 is the most, ours is 112, okay. And they're worse than 90, interesting. So, by the looks of it, they're a WrestleMania team with a lot of their profiles being, yeah, they're, they're a WrestleMania team, definitely. So, yeah, that's going to be a good competition. I forgot to update what we were on. We are now on 18 and 0, so let me quickly change that up. Boom, 18 and 0. We got some pending members, which is no. Those are my rewards. Well, that's perfect. Let's get straight into the into those into those rewards. Um, obviously, we can't get females. I'm looking for a Roman Reigns. I'm looking for a Brian Kendrick, uh, a Miz. Uh, just you know, pros of kind of lower tier cards. I don't have so, the only single I could get is Roman. Uh, maybe yeah, that is actually the only single I could get. Well, unless it's a single of another card, I've already got pro. So basically, just something useful, you know, a little cheeky. And even if it's a bad card, like as I said, Brian Kendrick, it'd be a pro. Get that out of the way. Um, and if we get ultimates, then well, we'll just click on the pack. Elite Chunsuke Nakamura. Okay, um, Miz, please for the second elite. Oh no, there's my about points. Then the another another elite. Please be Miz. No? Okay, two NXTs. Okay, my WrestleMania's next. Um, come on, be lucky. Boom! No! Not what we want to see. Not what we want to see. That's all right. All right, another, another, another set of battle points. Uh, it's all good, to be honest. Ah, uh, the chat's not very interesting for you guys. Let's get into the last game and uh, claim the Samoa Joe card before I forget of something. Uh, we got the bout, yeah, let's go against boss BO55. So Naomi right now is talking on the kickoff. Um, yeah, Naomi seemed like she seemed like it was a bit cringy for me, the whole segment she had on SmackDown. Um, bit, bit cringy, but I hope, I hope she, yeah, I, I like her as a wrestler. I like her, I do like her personality. On Total Divas, you know, you kind of see that better. But when she's on the mic delivering promos, they seem... Uh, uh, I don't know. This is, this is just... Something isn't right. Not not. It's not completely right, at least. So maybe that's something she could definitely work on. I'm not saying it's easy, but... Ayumi definitely could be a good champion. The belt doesn't look off place on her. Happy she got this, you know, from being... With the Funkadactors, getting screwed over a lot. Yeah. I don't know why I'm going so in depth with Naomi just because she's on the screen next to me. Um, okay, we're winning three two. This it should be a win because we proc they don't. Uh, oh, that's going to be close with that Brock Lesnar event. Yep, yeah, we managed to get the win there four two speed. That should be or Sean. Let me know by the way, guys. Two things in the comments. One, do you think Rusev will make an appearance at Money in the Bank? And two. Um, do any of you got yeah, if any of you guys are missing any WrestleMania cards, let me know like which ones. I mean, obviously if people are in like Hardington and all of those, but if you guys are like up at my level, um, you know, WrestleMania, WrestleMania plus plus, 
you know, all, all the events, those kind of things. Let me know if there's a lot of cards you're missing or there's like that one, two cards you just never seem to get and you seem to get like a lot of the cards over and over again. Like, just for example, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, uh, I've those Baron Corbin, uh, I've got like, um, yeah, I've gotten those cards already so much. Cedric Alexander, I think I've gotten a couple of times, Rich Swan. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's weird. You get like, I feel like you get kind of the same badge. <laughs> All right, toughness. Yeah, we got this. Perfect win, guys. No plus six is needed. Brilliant. I'm ready for the new tier. Supercard haven't tweeted out yet on Twitter. Their last couple tweets were about those rebranded fucking throwback packs, whatever bullshit that was about, um, which seems like literally the biggest news. Oh, never mind. They just tweeted 13 minutes ago. Who do you want to see in the Hall of Fame pack? Does your fave hold up against this sweet pink jacket? So, I'm looking on this and that, that is awesome. That is fucking awesome. So, a WrestleMania 33 Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. That is really cool. That voice was awful. Didn't sound anything like him. Now, I know it's WrestleMania 33. Good that it's WrestleMania 33 and not anything else, because that's obviously the better thing we can have. But we want a new tier super card. We want a new tier. We want a new game mode. We want a new event. Uh, potentially a new reset. I know that's very 50-50 in the community. A lot of people are like, I'm stopping if there's a reset. What would be the point of a reset? I've spent so much money. Well, games are meant to, like, you know... Some games are just meant to have like a reset and you're meant to start from the beginning again and that's part of the fun, you know. Um, FIFA, NBA, uh, ML, like all those sports games, everything made like WWE 2K17, 2K18, all those. Like every year it's a new game, every year you put the money in the game. So why, why, why should Supercar be any different? I think it's a really cool idea, you know. Um, I think the funnest parts of this game are like the early stages, like getting your ultra rare pros and and logging in and like having a legendary card being your, like a legendary pro. Do you remember how excited people used to get for a legendary pro? A legendary pro, do you, like how many tiers are there between legendary tier now and like, yeah, between legendary tier and like what we got now, it's just mad. And eventually they, they're not gonna be able to keep piling up like stats and stats. Like once it gets like 100,000 stats on cards, it's just gonna become ridiculous. I didn't even mention it, but there we go, guys. We just got Samoa Joe. I've been rambling on like a complete idiot this whole episode. I'm sorry about that, guys. But we did get Samoa Joe. We got an okay reward. I mean, it's a good card. It's nothing very important for me. Already proed, already done with that. Let me quickly show you guys where I'm at with my Sasha Banks and my Triple H. There is my Samoa Joe. Let me quickly lock that in. So this one is completely done. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll take me for the Samoa Joe. I'm not working tomorrow, which is fantastic. It's great that I've got a day off when there's the, literally the day where nothing is happening in Supercard. <laughs> great. But I'm not going to complain. A day off is going to do me a lot of good. This Triple H is done. This Triple H is pretty much done. Uh, we got quite a couple games left in speed, a couple in power, and like, well, not more than a couple in power and then a couple in toughness. But it shouldn't take too long. And this Sasha Banks has actually been done really nicely in the RTG. Both of these cards are just from playing RTG. And, you know, they're, I thought they wouldn't, especially the Sasha Banks, I didn't think she'd be as leveled up as this. But as you can see, a couple games in each stat pretty much, and she is done. So by the next episode, or by the episode after that, I'll definitely bring you guys a lot of proing. What that means is my tech is just going to be even better than it is, because we're going to add a Sasha Banks in there. Um, so that gets rid of that Alexa, so full WrestleMania deck already. Uh, we're going to add a Triple H, we're going to add a Samojo. That means my worst card will now be a WrestleMania Braun Strowman. Mental, absolutely mental. Supercard, bring us a new tier, please. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, as usual, do drop it a like. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. So then take care and peace out.